Hey guys, some of you may not know who I am and you may be wondering what happened to Mommy Chula. So for those of you who don't know, my name is Melanie and I'm her little sister. I normally don't make YouTube videos, but I asked my sister to let me make a video on my struggle with acne and how I finally managed to get clear skin. Before I get into the treatments I was experimenting with, I just want to share a little bit of my uh, background history with acne. In high school, I was the girl with clear skin. When all of my friends had breakouts and acne, I didn't have any blemishes at all. The only thing really that I would get is a couple of pimples here and there around my period. All of that changed after I graduated high school. I started using Proactive to try to prevent adult acne and any blemishes from developing, and that was probably the biggest mistake I could ever have made. The breakouts that I would get normally around my period were getting worse and worse and then the acne just got progressively worse as I grew into adulthood. By the time I turned 21, my skin was so bad that I didn't even want to leave the house. My skin was covered in the nastiest looking pimples and you couldn't even tell the color of my skin underneath. I was desperate to try anything to clear my skin up. A while ago, my sister and I filmed a video about how to get clear skin using drugstore products, and I did try that routine, and it cleared up my skin initially, but then I got a little too cocky, and I said, oh, my skin, you know, it's going to clear up now, and I don't need to continue with the regimen because I had naturally clear skin before, so I stopped using the products that she recommended. Um, that was my second mistake because the acne came back only, it came back stronger so that uh, when I tried to get back on the products that she recommended, it wasn't even effective anymore. So then I tried a different product, um, a prescription product called Differin, and this was a lot of money, okay? It was not cheap. I didn't have insurance, so I had to pay out of pocket for this, and unfortunately, it was a waste of my money because that didn't work either. After trying the drugstore products and the Differin gel and them not being effective, it kind of made my skin more sensitive. Now the dog is barking. That's great. Um, it made my skin more sensitive, so it was painful to the touch. And my grandmother had recommended using something called aloe vera, um, she told me to cut the leaf in half to expose the gel inside and apply that to my face for about 30 minutes uh, for a week. And I listened to her and I tried it. It smelled awful, but it did manage to take away some of the redness. So that was good, but I still had the acne problem. Then I went to a dermatologist. I got a free consultation and what they ended up telling me was that I had severe acne and the only way I'd be able to clear it up is through a combination of topical treatments and laser treatments and that it would cost over $2,500. So I didn't have that kind of money and um, you know nothing else seemed to be working so I just decided you know what whatever I'm gonna learn to live with the acne and I kind of gave up on trying to fight it and to clear my skin up again. Um, you know at that at that point I had just had enough with everything and I figured whatever I'm done trying. and. I really didn't do anything to try to help my skin from that point forward. Then one day my sister told me about a product called uh, The Regimen from a website called acne.org. She said that she had done some research on The Regimen and that it got great reviews and she said that I should try it out and I was afraid to try it because of what happened with the proactive. I figured, you know, what if it has a bad reaction and my skin gets even worse? But in, on the other hand, I figured my skin can't get any worse than it is right now, so what do I really have to lose? Um, so I decided to give it a shot. And I didn't like initially the fact that you have to buy this product online. And I also, I thought it was a little expensive. I think the shipping is something like $12. And, um, you know, the bottles themselves that you use, they're not cheap either. And I didn't want another thing that would happen with the different, how, uh, you know, that was expensive and it didn't work. And then this is expensive and it doesn't work. I didn't want to be spending all this kind of money for something that's not even going to clear my skin up. But um, 
I decided to take a gamble on it. And that was the best decision I ever made. That was the best investment I could have made. And, um, you know, as you can see now, my skin is clearer. But in using the acne.org regimen, my skin started to clear up within the first week. I was getting noticeable results. And even, you know, my friends, my family, everybody started commenting, telling me, oh my god, your skin, it's clearing up. What are you doing? What are you using? And I was excited to tell everybody it was the regimen from acne.org. The website gives step-by-step -step instructions on how to use it, but basically you start off with the cleanser and um, you're only supposed to put it on for like 10 seconds and then you wash it off. You have to be very gentle. They say don't scrub your face because that's what irritates your skin. And after that, um, you pat dry your skin, you wait for it to dry a little bit, and then you put on um, the treatment, which is benzoyl peroxide. And then you wait for that to dry. They say you should give it about 15 minutes just because you want to make sure that your skin is really dry. And then on top of the uh, benzoyl peroxide, you apply the moisturizer. And after that, you're pretty much set. If you want to wear makeup, you can put it on over the moisturizer after it dries. But it's a little hard to do that because the one thing that I will point out about the regimen, it makes your skin really, really dry initially and it starts peeling and uh, it's really flaky. But that's kind of how it works. It's designed to dry out your acne and ultimately kill it. So it does make it difficult if you want to wear makeup on top of that. Um, I did it anyway because I was not about to leave my house looking like I got smacked in the face with a cheese grater. So uh, I still was wearing the makeup, but it does flake off, and there's really no way that you could get around that. They suggest using some kind of like a jojoba oil or jojoba. I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm sorry, but some kind of oil to put in there to make it not as flaky, but you're gonna, it's going to peel anyway because that's really what's killing your acne. Anyway, like I said, I started seeing results right away. Um, I've been using acne.org regimen for about six months now and as you can see my skin is a lot clearer now I'm gonna see if I can zoom in and show you guys um, you know my skin is not perfect I still do have blemishes um, like a little bit of scarring things like that but for the most part my skin you know doesn't have that horrible bumpy it doesn't have a horrible bumpy texture and I barely use any makeup now. I use a eyeliner, mascara, and a little bit of powder. And here and there I use like a spot treatment of the CoverGirl Aqua Smooth. I use that here and there. But sometimes there are days where I'll actually go out without makeup now. And um, I can say that acne.org really gave me that confidence to be able to do that again because I remember back when I had the problems with acne I'd be embarrassed for my boyfriend to come to my house and see me without any makeup whereas when we first met and I had clear skin I didn't care if he showed up and I was he just rolled out of bed or I was still in my pajamas with no makeup on I really didn't care but um, that's how bad my acne was before I started using the acne.org that you know I didn't even want my own family to see me in my house without makeup on or anything so acne.org really gave me the confidence to be able to go out and go to the store without any makeup um, you know and I'm actually gonna post some before and after pictures so you can see what my skin looked like before I was using the product um, you know you can see the comparison what it looks like and six months later uh, my skin looks great I'm happy to recommend the product to anybody who's still struggling with their acne and hasn't had any luck anywhere else I know it's a little bit of an investment but for me it worked fantastic and that's really why I wanted to make this video because I know that my sister has subscribers who watch her on a regular basis and if this can help one of you guys clear up your skin that's really what I'm looking to do here um, like I said, I don't make my own YouTube videos, so I just really wanted to help somebody if I could and share my story. Hopefully one of you guys will be able to share your success story too. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave them below. I'm sure my sister will let me know since this is her channel. <laughs> I'm going to post the, the link. Well, she's going to post the link to acne.org below. 
and like I said, the before and after pictures, I'm gonna show them now. I really mainly wanted to make this video because I know how much of an emotional toll acne can take on somebody. You really don't think, you know, oh, it's just skin. You don't think that it's really going to have an emotional effect on people, but it really does. It, it hurts your self-esteem to, to go around feeling like you don't look your best because you really feel your best when you look your best. And, um, you know, for me, it was really a struggle. It was really hard to walk around. Um, you know, with no confidence. So I'm glad that my skin cleared up now and hopefully my story helped at least one person out there. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.